Yeah. Oh my god, it's Thomas the Franchise. <laughs> Summertime in New York, we'll spend a weekend out on Long Island. Flowers up on my shirt, I bet the natives think I'm Hawaiian. That is cannabis, you jerk. I spilled some weed while you were driving. City is mine, summer is yours. I'm chilling with girls that you probably adore. Playing my shit just like a douche. She turns it up louder to brighten the mood. Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Today, man, today should be really fun. I just wrapped up having breakfast with my aunt, hung out, had some good conversation. I'm out in her backyard as this is my home for the next month or however long until I can get a new place. But today I'm gonna take a break from all the fire stuff, the insurance people, the house hunting. Today I'm going to Waterworld with Vitzer, Mandy, their two little girls. It should be a lot of fun today. So that's really what today looks like, man. Waterworld and then when we get home we'll review some sneakers. I think we're gonna take a look at the run through time energy boost that Mark got me. You saw that in the last vlog, I believe. Big shout out to the homie Mark again for sending those over. I did have a chance to wear them for a few days. So I'll give you a full breakdown on the run through time energy boost boosts are they worth it are they not also I do have the parlay ultra boost on feet today these still smell like smoke like crazy as do a bunch of the shoes I have I've washed these I think at least three or four times and I just can't get the smoke smell out um, so I think I'm just gonna wear them all day at Waterworld in the wave pool on the slides as much as I can unless like there's a slide that I go down that requires me to take them off I'm gonna be wearing these shits all day and uh, we'll see if that takes the smoke smell out of it So that should be interesting and we should have a blast today and I'm excited to bring you guys along So let's get it going then we'll come back and take a look at some shoes later on
shots Whatever you say, girl You in a me mind, in a me head, in a me body You want a real story, if you love me not ready Me drifting around way and only you can save me Crazy, me a turn like a crazy guy Me out of service, cause you hypnotize me I'm lost, like a somebody try to delete my memories But you are not there, my baby girl I've been trying to swim out of it. 
the steel, every night is hot time All right, guys, we are back home. Well, my home for the time being. I'm at my aunt's house. This is where I'm staying until I decide where I wanna move or what place I wanna buy. I don't wanna rent, I wanna buy a place. And I'm picky as hell, so that's been a nightmare, I'm sure, for my real estate agent because we're gonna be looking at a lot of places, so pack a lunch, Mandy. I just realized I said coming to you live. I'm not even live. I don't know why I said live. I think it just sounds better. But I'm at my aunt's house. I'm in the, her computer room. After scouting out locations to do reviews in the house, I think this is the best location as far as the lighting goes, so you guys will be able to get a good look at each of the sneakers while I'm staying here. First, Water Roll was a blast. The parlays, man. These joints right here held up in the wave pool, and from what I'm seeing, I don't see any discoloration or fading or anything thing my biggest concern was the chlorine they look dope the inside is rubbed off that was starting to rub off before the fire anyway because I was just wearing the crap out of these shoes this summer this is definitely one of my favorite 3.0s they held up well at the wave pool my feet weren't getting torn up at the bottom of the wave pool I might just make that a staple I might just start wearing ultra boost every single time I go to water world and guess what smell that they no longer smell like smoke, which is awesome. So that is the solution. If you have some smoke ruined shoes because your house caught on fire, just wear them to your local water park and you'll be good. But that's enough with the parlays. I am so sorry this review took a long time to get to you guys. Curveball, I was gonna review the energy boost, but we ended up getting two pairs of EQT 9317s early. So we're gonna take a look at both of those pairs right now. The uppers are completely different materials from each other and different materials from the first couple versions. Uh, this version here obviously is red from the fire. I'm supposed to give these to the insurance company so they can try to clean them. I've tried to wash them. I've tried to clean them. That ash stain is not coming out, bruh. Especially the drywall up on the suede. It's just not good for these. So bear with me. I know the shoe is wrecked, but I'm just going to use this as a reference point to compare the upper, to compare the ortholite liner. The ortholite liner is a topic of discussion. There was people saying on that pair that dropped like the Dalmatian type of pair. Some people were saying it wasn't ortholite. Some people were saying theirs was ortholite. I'm going to give you the breakdown on all that stuff, and I'm going to give you the breakdown on these pairs as well. So let's get into it. The first pair... Right here, here's the box label, $180, EQT support 9317. This is the black pair and this is what they look like. Bang, get you a look around the shoe. These drop on August 24th, I believe, along with the white pair that I'm gonna show you. I did get these early from my local finish line, so be out there checking your finish lines. Maybe they put them out, maybe you can cop them early. I know Journeys is gonna be getting them. These are gonna be all over. These and the white pair, they're not gonna be a hard cop. They're gonna be super GR. You'll be able to get them everywhere. They'll probably be at every finish line, so don't go jumping out the window for the shoe. They'll be around. Getting into the shoe with the upper, I did not own the Dalmatian pair, or I do not own the Dalmatian pair, so I really can't compare it to that. I'm just gonna compare these two uppers with each other as well as to this. So the upper, is completely different uh, from what the first, like the OG pair, this white pair, this is a totally different kind of um, prime knit. It's like a glitch knit or whatever the heck they call it. This upper is still prime knit, but I don't even know if you call it prime knit. It's definitely knit. It's some kind of knit. It's almost the exact same knitting as you have on the tongue. So basically, instead of like this knitting and then switching up, and going into this like stretchier prime knit, this shoe is just that knitting all the way down. There's no switch up. It's the exact same thing all the way down throughout the whole upper. So that's kind of how that looks. As far as the comfort of them, I only walked around the house, but I didn't notice too much of a difference. I didn't notice any difference in sizing. I still went true to size on these in the 12. I think the homie Dallas on this black pair copped a 10. I think he normally goes 10 and a half, so he went half down on his. Some people might go half down on them, but I think for the majority of people, true to size is probably good. Now, the first thing you notice, other than obviously the look, is this is not, this has no stretch to it. There's no pull, there's no stretch. It's just like the tongue. Like it's just a, a really tightly knitted upper and it's just not really stretched at all but it's definitely not something I noticed that was like oh it's uncomfortable a lot of people asking is it prime knit is it mesh I don't really know if I would call it prime knit I mean it's more like a stitch knit like it's like a cross stitched knit really tightly knitted I mean you're still feeling that uh, it's just not as stretchy it is still the same down here on the side they just put stitching continuing along the side you still have the exact same lacing system as the other EQT supports and then you have this stitching all along the inside here which you didn't get on the other pair this was a suede and it was not stitched along here and this is actually just like stamped on there that branding on this one is actually stitched in the branding EQT support. And then down here, this is just kind of stamped on where it says EQT 
This is like engraved down in there where it says EQT. As far as the cage, you've kind of got that black translucent cage. You can't really tell it's translucent. I'm not a huge, huge fan of that, but on this shoe, you can't tell too much. And then the translucent white on the inside. Same material on the back here, no change there. And then same material on the inside. Moving up to the tongue, this is definitely a little bit different. Uh, this tab here is more of like a rubber coated, almost like flex seal rubber type of tab. And then on this one, it's like a sewn on patch and it is reflective on this pair. It does not have that like base rubber look even though the camera is not picking it up. This one definitely is a little lighter in color and it is reflective. Just your standard black laces, the same kind that come on the other pair. They're not wax or anything else, just regular black laces. Moving to the inside of the shoe and the Ortholite liner. So this does have Ortholite branding. It does come with an Ortholite tag on there. It does have an Ortholite liner inside. Here's the difference that I see. This Ortholite liner on this one peels up super easy and it is very thin. Let me see how to convey this on camera. All right, so we peel this Ortholite liner out. It is sticky, it does stick down, but it's very thin, it's very flexible. If you fold it over, I don't know. It's just very, very thin, very bendable. On the old EQTs, the black pair and this pair, this Ortholite liner was like seriously glued in. This pair is already shot, so I decided just to rip it out. I did tear it up a little trying to get it out of the shoe for you guys. Oh dang, now it even stuck back down. So there's a couple pieces of Ortholite still on there, a couple pieces ripped out the bottom, but this one is noticeably thicker. This green material is way different. This green is like more of a grippy, crushed velvet type of surface, and this one is very, very smooth. Again, super, super thin, I mean, very, I mean, paper thin, I mean, very thin in ortholite insole. This one, you got the noticeably thicker ortholite insole and definitely a different texture in here. I don't know how that changes the comfort on the shoe. I'll let you guys know as soon as I get to wear these. I really just wanted to get this review up as soon as possible because we've had some technical difficulties and people have been waiting on this vlog. I'll have to update that in the next one as far as the feel of this shoe. But yeah, the whole insole honestly like slides down. There's like a little gap in the toe box where I'm gonna have to almost like readjust this insole. It just doesn't sit in there, which is kind of gonna be a pain because it is sticky on the bottom. Like it's it's tacky like they tried to glue it in but damn <laughs> I mean this is yeah it's not good this is gonna be a headache a little bit this is what we're dealing with with the new ortholite insole I mean it's not even close to a regular insole like this honestly it's like almost thinner than an ultra boost insole it's just a piece of piece of ortholite I guess damn that was a chore like I said I don't own the uh, Dalmatian pair but someone sent me a video on Twitter and it looked like it was this exact same style of insole it did not look like it was this style from the OGs I'm not gonna shit on Adidas and say they're trying to cut corners on quality or anything because I don't know if this is just new technology that they're doing I haven't worn the shoe yet so I'm not gonna speak out of turn but from the outside looking in looks like they tried to go a little bit budget on these joints hence why they're gonna be super GR and they're gonna be all over the place and these and the black pair were not moving down to the midsole no change there boost still the three stripes branded into the boost on both sides all the same stuff and then with the outsole it's the exact same EQT support 9317 outsole as you get on these and that is about all in this black pair those are the differences from this black pair to the other pair let's take a look at the white pair really quick they're pretty similar to these but there are a couple more differences here is the box label on the white pair, $180, all the same stuff. Let's get to these joints. Bang, there we are. EQT 9317, the white with the royal blue suede on the inside. So I would call these 50-50. I would say they're 50% the same as the black pair, 50% the same as the OGs, starting with the upper. The upper is very similar to the black pair. The biggest difference, the tongue is actually mesh. I would call this tongue mesh. This here is knit. The black pair is knit. This I would call a mesh tongue. That does change when you get down into the upper. It does become a really, really tightly stitched knit, tighter knitted than the black pair, and then you have this cross stitching all the way across that is silver. And then as you notice down on the side, then you have the wider knit, which is different from the knit that's up here. I would not call this mesh. Again, this is mesh. This tongue, this is a mesh feeling. This is not really knit, this is mesh. These are knitted. Now, whether that knit is prime, I don't know what makes knit prime. I mean, does anybody really know what makes it prime knit? or regular knit, or circa knit, or glitch knit. The shit is just knit. I mean, somebody will probably come up with some crazy name to call it, and next thing you know, it'll be lit knit. I just coined that on this vlog. If, any, if you hear anybody saying it's lit knit, holler at your boy, because I haven't seen nobody else saying that shit, and I just created it. Lit knit, coming soon to Adidas. Moving up here, same exact tab as the black pair, just uh, kind of stamped on there. This is the same exact tab. It's like a flex seal type of rubber. 
It's not uh, it's not stitched in around the outside. It's just kind of stamped on there. Regular standard white laces, same standard lacing system, the three stripes there. Then you have this knit on the side. This is a looser knit than what you have up here. This is more similar to the black pair or the tongue on this pair. And then it goes up into mesh. That right there is mesh and that is the same material as the tongue on this pair. So you got the mesh there. You got the white translucent cage on the outside. And then going here, you got the black cage on the inside. Same thing, translucent, you can see through. Now this is where it differs on the inside. Back to the suede with this pair. So this is similar to the OGs. You got the suede, you got the EQT support branding stamped in there, not stitched. And this royal blue suede is fire. I'm not even usually a fan of royal blue. The royal ones are not my favorite. I have them, I wear them, but I'm not you know blown away where I did have them. Motorsport 4s, anything with royal blue, even those run through time mids, it's not really royal blue. It's a little bit lighter than royal blue, but I'm just not a huge, huge fan of royal blue. On this pair, I really, really like the royal blue. I think it adds to the white. It's not overdone. The whole shoe isn't royal blue. It's very, very disguised on the inside. I don't even know if disguised is the word I'm looking for. It's not faint, not disguised. I don't know what I'm looking for, but maybe disguised is the right word. You can't really tell what it is, then you turn to the inside and boom, it just hits you. So I really like that royal blue there. Moving to the inside, we just talked about the ortholite insole. It's the exact same insole on this pair as the black pair. It's the same situation with the thinner insole. This material around the back is the exact same. It's kind of like that really soft uh, mesh material, midsole, boost, three stripes branded in, all the exact same stuff as well as the outsole. No change, no difference. Honestly, if I were only copying one, I would cop the white pair. I like them better than the black pair. At first, I was unsure about this stitching in the toe. I wasn't really like a huge fan of it, but after I thought about it and after I tried the shoe on, it didn't take away from the comfort of the shoe, but I think this will give the appearance of the shoe uh, not getting as dirty as easy. With that stitching in there, I just feel like it's not gonna show dirt as easy as a normal white shoe, which I like. I wouldn't go crazy over either of these shoes or consider either a must cop. I do think they are both pretty dope pairs. Like I said, they are gonna be super GR. Check your finish lines, check your journeys. They do come out everywhere the 24th, but you may be able to walk into a store and grab them early. Big shout out to the homie Kyle at Finish Line who came through on these. No, I didn't get them free. No, I don't get no discounts. I love how some of you cats in the comments just think I'm making millions of dollars off YouTube, which I don't make shit off YouTube let's be real. And number two, I don't get shoes for free. I have to buy shoes unless they're from the homie Mark who decides to just send me a couple pairs of shoes out of the goodness of his heart. Other than that, man, I'm just like you guys. I network. I find people I get to know. I build relationships with people and that's what you have to do in the sneaker game. Most of the time, if you're just cool to people, they'll be cool to you. Just don't be an asshole. That's networking 101. I mean, it's really not that hard. But for real, in networking, you do something for someone else, they'll do something for you. Just be nice to people, man. Most of the time, they'll be nice to you. It's not that hard to just be nice to each other. But anyway, that is about all for me. This vlog probably went entirely too long. Thank you guys so much for watching the channel, man. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. It's pushing me out to more people. The channel's growing like crazy. I really appreciate everybody bearing with me through this situation, through housing changes, background changes, but we're going to keep doing what we do. I love the shit out of y'all and I will see you fools tomorrow. Uh, Chasing paper like I'm racing, racing in my mind, no patience. You can't tell us where to take it. We gon' take it past the stars. Can't tell us who we are. And will we screaming now when we shooting down the stars? And they fall down. Trying to get a little bit of better when I'm down. Trying to have a little bit of fun when I'm out. Trying to stay still when I'm bouncing around. Round. Trying to stay still when I'm bouncing around. And they fall down Trying to get a little bit of better when I'm down Trying to have a little bit of fun when I'm out Trying to stay still when I'm bouncing around Round Trying to stay still when I'm bouncing around uh, Round Lean it, sipping slow 
Never felt quite like this before. I'm floating, coming down. Ain't too much that come around, but lately I'm feeling you. Baby, this my interview. We don't need no interlude. Let's talk now, let's get into this life that I'm living, living life like nothing's given, given memories of wisdom. We be floating in a distance. We gon' bring it, bring it all to the day we fall apart. And we'll be screaming now when we shooting down the stars.